Merkel Media. He put it in park, threw open the driver's door, ran out the side of the car, across the front of it, and jumped right off the side of the bridge in front of me. The only people who really pulled over were truckers. He said, we're going to Hodge, and he didn't slow down. He went across the median onto the oncoming traffic, but where they could see him coming, they just got out of the way. I noticed his plane was really low. He went right in front of us, hit the fence, and it spun around. You know, 30 seconds more, he could have hit us. And I went around that truck and a guy stepped out from behind the truck and threw a piece of wood and it shot through my window just like a spear and stuck in the back of the cab of my truck. That's probably one of the stranger things I've seen. That Joseph's. <laughs> Welcome to Hammer Lane Legends. <laughs> I am Brian Merkel. I'm Brian Shipper. If you have a crazy and wild story you would like to share with us from the road or you would like to talk and have a conversation with us about your experiences from the road, go ahead and contact us at hllpodcast at protonmail.com. That's hllpodcast at protonmail.com. Or go to the Hammer Lane Legends webpage. <laughs> you get the contact section. You can get a hold of us that way. Either way works for us. Just go ahead and get a hold of us because we want to have a conversation with you. Shipper, tell them about buying me a coffee and only buy me a coffee. And I'll explain it to you why later. Buy you me mean coffee? the keep us fueled section? That Thank keep you. us fueled. Uh, okay. Yeah. Buymeacoffee.com slash Hammerlane virtual tip jar. If you like the show, what we're doing, you feel like contributing, follow the simple prompts. If not, thanks for looking. Now, nah, stop saying that. What? Don't ever be negative about it. Just tell um, them. Buy us a, if you want to if you oh, buy us a coffee. Buy us a coffee. Dot the, com. I didn't get, a new memo. I didn't get the new be. memo about how I Here's got the positivity. It well, <laughs> it's a positivity. I'm thing. positive. I we're, didn't get the memo. Okay, it's his first day on the show. <laughs> it is his first day on the show. Yeah, every day is his first day. Mm-hmm. Every Saturday, it's the first time he's down here because you know. It's his well, first. quite yeah. honestly, this is the first time you told me that, and I jumped past this other. I was supposed it, to it is, and I, voicemail, and but I, I don't know. It's a change that I decided to make. Oh, a corporate change. Nope, this is, this is a me change. Okay, well, you might want to put it in an uh, so, envelope and a letter. <laughs> this is a me change, and this is this is well, me. We were downstairs for 45 minutes. You think you could have said something then? Right, I know, right? I thought you were his other wife. I thought you were supposed to know this already. Yeah, I know, right? See, he's... <laughs> you were down there as long as I was. Did you hear anything about just telling this not okay, that but you're yeah, also that was... his second wife you should already hell know no i got enough problems Just, <laughs> yeah. don't even go yeah. there <laughs> don't even that go there. That be a good is show. hilarious it is gonna be a fun show shippers a riot he is a blast and a half he's caffeinated because you bought him a coffee well a coke no, it's Mountain Dew. I went over high octane. Mountain Dew is better than it, anything. <clears throat> I had too many of them today. Uh, <laughs> apparently. How many did you we have this tell. morning? One I had to wait for paperwork. I woofed that down to one in Harrisburg. Yeah, three all together. Wow, stopped and then the, you came here and had another one. Stopped the Turkey Hill uh, out, of, out of Hazelden, yeah. And he had another one. Just to recover. Driving in the fog. Dude, you are like... Mountain Dew should give you a sponsorship at this point. They should. I know. It's like, <laughs> we're going to come into work and see a Mountain Dew. Coke, Coke <laughs> <and call. laughs> when, when, they, when they buy you decals for your land yacht back there. Yeah. That'll be fantastic. It'll be really interesting. Anyway. I'll need decals. That way, you, punt, you know, cover up the rust. You know, it's a Ford. <laughs> on a quiet night, you can hear it rust. Yeah, I know. Ford. Fix or repair daily. Right. Found on road dead. Right. First We're found in the dead. driveway. You got one, too. Just I remember that. <laughs> I tried getting rid of it. Now I'm going to keep it. Why? Because I didn't feel like getting up early on Tuesday. That's why. Oh, <laughs> I was like, I, I'm like, I'm sitting here thinking, I, you want me to get up early on Tuesday when oh, I got to work on o'clock. Wednesday? Well, yeah, but I got to work Tuesday night into Wednesday. I got to stay awake until Wednesday, and I'm not going to get up and come home and go back to bed. That's not how this body works. This body is like, it's it, it rebels against anything that's different. Oh, yeah. Speaking of which. Junior here is off you all know, week. You know what we ought to do? He's going. He's going. He, he, I says, "What'd you do all week?" Absolutely nothing. <laughs> I says, "It was beautiful." I was up. Nice I was up to five. He goes to me. I was up to five o'clock in the morning. 
What the hell are you doing up till five o'clock in the morning? Well, I can't sleep. What do you mean yeah. you can't sleep? Go to bed like a normal human being. I, no, I can't I, do that. Okay, that sounds whatever. Like me. That sounds like me. So not except for next week because I got school. See? Other than that, I'll be awakened so whenever. I I have a yeah, but you're in a Gen X, Y, Z, PDQ, whatever. Just because so it you're doesn't matter. Plus does not mean you got to get mad at me for being forty. Wrong. Thank you. It's okay, okay. but if you if you crack me down to forty, <laughs> I got game going on oh. again. Do you, would you rather me round up to seventy seven? Well, you're closer. <laughs> <laughs> he might be young with your he common core, how with young your common core work. math. You might be right on the money there. I don't know how to go with that. I didn't say that. Anyway, I think what we probably should do at this point is introduce our in studio guests because we haven't yet, and yeah. I think that'd be, that'd be a, the right thing to do. Don't the you? mouth of the south and Braden. <laughs> There you go. There's the, the introduction. The South. What is he from South Bethlehem or what? Well, East could be South Quaker Town. Southeast. Yeah. East. Yeah. There you go. Actually, fun fact. Oh, here we oh, go. I, I uh, doubt that it's going to be fun, but it will be a fact. South Quaker Town was my first home after birth. Wow. And you're moving back home. It's like everybody winds up gravitating On back to the where they started. Too. You want to know something we'll funny that. though? No one asked. <gasps> Yeah, wow. no one cared. Isn't it <laughs> right? like, Aren't kids? No one cared. It's been well, a blast it's been having fun. you on, see, guys. <laughs> so today we're talking to Hector. Okay. Hector is a returning. Well, you can talk to him. A returning, <laughs> a returning guest, and Hector has brought his son Braden with him, sadly. and I thought that was really kind of cool. It's be sad that you asked me to come. <laughs> I, I think I apologize for any inconvenience this may cause you being related to him. <laughs> Well, it's a lifelong thing, right? But you know, <laughs> we don't get to pick. It's just no, what we because- hopefully you got more of your mother's gene pool than him, so you know, you have a Ooh. slight well, advantage. I guess they ought to know the truth. Then they know the truth. It's okay. Okay. Well, then I do, but it's him and someone else. <laughs> <laughs> I don't talk about the other person, so. Yeah. I got you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you could just left that out. <laughs> Edit. But hey, whatever. This one so <laughs> at the five minute mark. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for listening. Been a fun show. <laughs> we'll catch you next time. Glad to have you in studio with us. It is good to see you guys. It's good to have you both in. It really is nice. It's nice to see you, Braden. It's nice to get a chance to meet you. Had you got a chance to talk with your mom and 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 uh, your dad a couple of you know months ago now I guess it is months ago shows well, ago I don't know I don't even know. I remember I don't remember when don't, it was don't, don't try to year. think when it was okay? my first it was, was well over a year ago See, and this, hers this was your third you're hers like a, a little, like a like three a time guy. guy you're like a three time in studio dude he's only a three depends champ, how technical so. you want to get because we had that special <laughs> that we did too. <laughs> So you're like a four-time dude. Uh, you, dude. <laughs> you know, one more time means I get Shipper's job. <laughs> Take it! Get it the damn job! Go! You know I'm out! Is, Goodbye! You know, you know what I find is so funny is everybody, everybody wants, wants Shipper's it, but job. nobody shows up! <laughs> everybody wants the it's job. It's an hour commute. I just love how Shipper it's, heard what I said and no one else did. Yeah, what did don't worry say? about it. I, <laughs> yeah, I got just, the ears. I, I got the cans don't. on my ear. Yeah, yeah, I've, got, I've got the cans on my ears. Yeah, Shipper's doing the can-can thing today. He's a dad, too. He's got that dad hearing. Hmm. Well, they, well, you are kind of <laughs> deaf, so... No, he's kind of deaf. <laughs> wow, this is like so a this lot. This is kind of why I want to bring Braden on. Is, you know, um, I'm glad you did. I'm glad you brought you, him along. You hear a lot. You know, a lot of us are parents out there in the... World. Obviously, you don't hear enough, but go ahead. Seriously. I'm sorry. What'd you say? I'm gonna, uh, um, you know, so to hear it from the kids, like, you know, we know your kids <coughs> basically have you in this chair today on the microphone. Right. We know his kids, why he's here, because he doesn't want to be home. Um, his kid oh, doesn't wait. want him there. Is that what you mean? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dad, get My out. My kid don't really care. It's, it's more, it's, it's more misses. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, are you podcasting today? No. Oh, why not? <laughs> Can you make an appointment to just have it today? Can, yeah, every Saturday. Can you just go? Can you go to his house? <laughs> just go to his house, even if you're not recording. Oh, go. The, you just go. She doesn't care just where I go. Care, just right? go. Just go. Leave the as house, long as it's outside home. that front door, we're in good shape. And not yeah. the garage. Mrs. Don't Shipper hear is, Mrs. Shipper is really nice. She's a very nice person. She'll never hear me say that about her. She's got to be very, a saint because they say opposites attract, and well, we know the people person sitting there. So he is a people person. He is. He really is. Can I'm more a people person than more different people than you think of people that I he, can out of. That's the thing. He really is. He's he is. a he is a people person, yeah. and he's a nice guy. But we don't say it. 
because then people will expect it. Right. And he doesn't want people to expect it. He just right. wants to have it sneak up on you, you know. Right. So he's not like, a oh good, my word, Shipper's actually a nice guy. He's not a good worker. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> the fact that you did not disagree to that is crazy. It is, isn't it? <laughs> like you would think you would disagree to something. There. He doesn't I argue with ignorance often. I, yes, I can't. <laughs> I don't want to even dip down to the level of stupidity that I'm listening to right now. So stupidity I'm not going to. You're listening to. So why are you even here then? <laughs> yeah, this, this, I, sometimes I ask myself that. You don't want to hear so stupidity a couple of voices don't be sitting in the chair uh, anymore. So. <laughs> Anyways, okay. um, wow, I'm, I'm good. <laughs> this conversation has really gone mean, you know. <laughs> so, Hector, how have you been? Oh, Who the hell cares? Let's, 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 let's no, one has, no one asked how he cares. <laughs> Pretty I good mean, one. This is like a gun that shoots around the corners. You know what I'm saying? Like, no matter where you run, it's getting you. Man, I leave leave the house at you know for work at four o'clock in the morning. And I pass my kid in the hallway as he's going to bed, and I'm going to work. It's like, man. Mm-hmm. Must still be summer break. break. Uh man, I time miss summer break. The funniest part, especially when I got to have breakfast with you and piss you off before you even left the house. That's awesome. Way to That's... go, champ. Way to, way to start the <laughs> breakfast of champions. Way to start the day. That or he'll hear me at like 3 no. a.m. and wonder why I'm still awake. Why would you be upset having breakfast with the kid? Morning routines. And I, I call you the kid because that's what I always just call my kids. The kid. Whenever I'm talking to Jack, it's the kid. When I'm talking about Jack, so I don't I, I don't no, mean that to, you know. <laughs> it's good. He's used to it. So <laughs> uh it's it's more morning routine. I'm used to being uh, by gotcha. myself, getting things done, getting out of the house. And what I'm sitting there trying to drink. You do at four o'clock in the morning, getting things done. You like packing your lunch. Packing lunch, okay. making the coffee, making yeah. breakfast. So eating get breakfast, nuts. drinking the coffee with nobody yapping my ear off. Yes, you know. Seeing if he needs to take another blue chew or not. <laughs> a blue chew? <laughs> Whoa. What? What do you know that I don't? Hold on. <laughs> I don't know. Hey, this one, whatever Just... you and mom do in the bedrooms on your <laughs> Wow, well, did Whoa. <laughs> not oh, saying a word. Man, okay. <laughs> I like this kid. <laughs> <laughs> I think you need to look for sponsors for this show now, apparently. <laughs> apparently, we could use Viagra. Or, yeah. <laughs> Viagra. <laughs> <laughs> so. Uh, and you're only how old in there? Chomping these down like uh, chiclets? <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't know I was taking them down, so apparently Alzheimer's sets in at the ripe age of 34. <laughs> all right. 34. I mean, sometimes yeah. that all you are. That's, sometimes it. I do That's fantastic. With you, though, about that, Old enough to and be I, shipper's I, I, kid. I, when I said it, I don't mean like you look like you came across. Well, yeah, I don't even go there. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> no. We'll no. just let that ship sail. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Or fucking, sink, whichever that, case that may be. Gonna sink. As yeah, long as it's out of sight, out of mind. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> just watch out for that iceberg. Amen, brother. I think he struck it. <laughs> And it is going down fast. <laughs> it is broken in half. And we are sinking. Uh, I watched the deck. I, that's the beautiful thing. I was off this week. Lucky. On vacation. My wife has been going down to my daughter's house because she had a bad car accident yep. a few weeks ago. It, you know, as you know, as everybody else, you know. Um, so she's been helping her. <clears throat> and I already had my vacation scheduled. So I was like, oh, I'll just keep my vacation. You know, I'll spend the week alone. It is awesome. Empty nesting week alone. <laughs> yeah. It's like, I, I mean, I know every day I got up, I made a pot of coffee. Every day you had plans. Quiet. And Didn't every night you reviewed plans. We'll try that tomorrow. <laughs> Tomorrow's another day and we'll give it a shot. <laughs> I think I did. I, I, I left the house in my car once. He had three doctor's appointments to go to this week. He canceled them all because he didn't feel like going out. <laughs> There's other days. <laughs> There's another week. All that gas you saved. I did. I, I I put a half a tank of gas in my car on purpose last weekend because I knew I was on vacation. And I wasn't going anywhere, and he I says. Didn't, I, I, didn't, I didn't even use, like, not even a quarter of a tank. Not any. I mean, it didn't really budge the. I went out once. I, w- I drove down to Sam's Club and drove home. So one time last week you had to put pants on. Amen, brother. <laughs> yeah. That's some dad goals it right was, there. It was awesome, dude. It was and I love my wife and I love you know, she's you know, she's fantastic. But it was just nice having a week. You know what I mean? Like you just sit and you drink your coffee, you make your breakfast, you sit down, it's quiet. You get up from the coffee that you from the from the, the table, you walk in the room, turn the TV on, it's quiet. 
You can watch whatever you want to watch, which is what this is leading me to. I watched a documentary on on, on the Titanic again. <laughs> I watched another one, but it still it was sank. All, but it still sank. Yeah. yeah, it did. But other reasons. Yeah, all kinds so of cool stuff I found. Every out. time you watch a movie, do you hope for a different outcome? Not or? ever. No, oh. this is a different documentary. Oh, but you still knew the results. But I knew the result. I knew what the outcome was. I mean, there's still 1,500 dead people. Sound like wasted time, though. You knew what was going to happen. Never wasted. Though. Documentaries are never wasted time. Am I right, Braden? Oh, I thought the all timers kicked in. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only thing I got out of that conversation because I was barely paying attention. It's like Gavin Shipper, like another shipper on the show. Who cares about a boat ride, you know, back in 1914? And we left them sitting next to each other. I know. That was a bad move. I was about to say, if I want to watch a documentary, I can't even speak English. Documentary. Stay in school, kids. Go ahead, Braden. This is learning to spell with Darnell. About, you All were I saying think... stay in school. <laughs> yeah. What grade Hector. was your final grade that you decided? Yeah, Hector. What, yeah, what oh. was your final grade? Uh, you want to get technical? It was 14th grade. Fourteenth grade because he did eighth four yeah, times. So there's thirteen. Yes, yeah, sir. And in my second senior year, then nice. fourteen. That's Dude. exciting. That's and I still got my good enough degree. You did. That's fantastic. I had a little problem with going to school i did too i missed 46 days my senior year dude 46 yeah. oh that's easy and that was, numbers i know those I just, are easy numbers <laughs> <laughs> i on my 101st day of coming yeah after 101 days of come and then i came back or did they asked me to leave to do a third senior year i said no i'm good wow i was about to say i spent what in easton i was I left right before Thanksgiving of my freshman year of Easton. Uh -huh. So I was not even there for a full year before I got kicked out. Wow. Wow. <laughs> that's so those missing certain amount of days are easy numbers. <laughs> they, I, exactly. And that's where school districts is, matter and administration matters. It's it was It's also the funniest part when I get it was called, 1986. It's also the funniest part when I get called to the principal's <laughs> office and my parents are already on the cell phone of the principal. <laughs> <laughs> that's fun i got to be on first name basis with that principal yeah never again that is awesome i will block the number in your phone you just didn't go back there he did not go back okay so that's why he's never again I, I got kicked out for a good reason he does not want me there okay but it's simply he did not want me in that school no more and he let you know that oh he was he was he didn't say it he didn't say those exact words, but he was very with the points he was trying to make that he wanted me out of that school. Right. I get you. And that was after I pissed off my ninth grade principal because they do. So at Easton, they do a principal for what year you have. You have a certain principal. Then oh, really? the head principal. Wow. So I had a so I started off with my ninth grade principal, pissed him off pretty bad to where he was switching jobs. <laughs> Yeah, it's like I can't take these kids anymore. Well, he said he was getting paid more because he's going to be a principal or a head principal. He just did not want to deal with me because I was in there constantly. Um, and then once it got to a certain for certain point with me, like skipping a bunch and just not caring, do whenever I felt like. Right. It got to the point to where every time they heard my name on the walkie-talkie, I got sent to the head principal, which is on first name basis with my father and mom. Wow. And had their cell phone number. So, yeah, that was fun. Speed when dial. It, yeah. <laughs> no, quite literally. One hey, and two. Siri. Well, at, least when you, at least when you came into school, and you know, you're going to pick them off. Did you bring him a breakfast sandwich at least? Say, hey, I figure he had breakfast. He wasn't. He was not that nice to me. No. I, he was not that nice. If he was nicer, maybe. Look what I stole. <laughs> Look at what I got you as a Look, present I, for you being. I, I put nice. it on your charge card. <laughs> I put it on my get out of jail free card. Here's your sandwich and here's your right. card back. Yeah. <laughs> you should keep your wallet in a safer place. Didn't get your coffee. And I got 15 gallons of gas while I was there. <laughs> Thank you. By the way, you might see a charge for like a thousand plus dollars. Yeah, don't worry about that. That was just me doing me. Uh, so, Hector, what brings you back, back on the show? <laughs> Evidently, the wife kicked him out of the house and said, she take said, him with. Take him <laughs> Actually, well, quite literally, that did happen because she had some people coming over. So that there, there is something going on at the house right now that neither one of us want to be home for. Yeah, I was not going to be in the podcast. Friend, and then I tagged friend him. of ours is getting married the uh, the uh, end of next week, and yeah. you're going to have a so, so sorry doing, for their loss. They're doing bridal party <laughs> things. <laughs> the ladies are, and 
him and I said, nope, let's get out of this house. Oh, hey, amen, brother. Who's him and I? Hit, well, hit the road and I said, get out of there. He asked if he And then come I with. asked if I could come. And then I was like, you know, might as well see if I'm able to be on just because it'll give me something. Yeah, do. dude. What the heck? I think it's awesome. That's why when your dad asked, I was like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, he like, told me that you were 100%. excited to have yeah, me. Yeah, totally was. I mean, actually, somebody who's got young blood. I mean, <laughs> literally, <laughs> you know. <laughs> so I think with the whole school conversation we just had, it actually does show an exposure that some of us truckers do face as parents is being home, being able to raise sure. the children and you know keep them under control, so to speak. Um, so with bringing him, that's kind of something I want to talk about was you know, <laughs> how it is for him listening to two parents that are in the trucking industry at home. There's nights at the ta- dinner table. He'll look at us and can you guys shut up? I'm tired of hearing about this. What do you mean some nights? You talk about work nights. at home. Unfortunately, work does go home with us. Really? We're still trying to stop it. When you have two people that work at the same job, it's bound to happen. I it, it, it's funny. It is just me. And when I say this, I don't, I don't mean like it's not. I rarely talk about work at home. I mean, I love what I do, I, and I love you know talking. I love talking about trucking. But like I, I, I always my problem because this this did where it's different for you. This is, mm. is always my problem. Was like my wife doesn't know the people I work with. <clears throat> so if I if I say something about somebody, I have to first of all explain who the person is that I'm talking about, <laughs> and then tell the story. And you don't even go into code names because otherwise no, right. you have to it, explain it, that whole yeah, chart. Yeah, exactly. There's there's just and too much there's graphs and, like, and spreadsheets. So I, I the only <laughs> pie <part> charts, <laughs> <laughs> pie charts, and, you know. <laughs> but so. So I, I like I it just because it, it's funny. When I was a kid, my dad and my brother worked at the same place, and my dad and my brother would sit and talk about work. And I used to get so because I'm like sitting there, I have no clue what you guys are talking about. And I was a kid. My my brother's six years older than me, so you know he was already graduate. I'm, I'm in school, you know, and he's like eighteen, nineteen, twenty. And my him him and my dad were working at the same. So they're talking about things and talking about people, and I'm like, you just feel like a fifth wheel on a wagon, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? So. <laughs> so that's why I feel what he's saying. It's like, I get it because I, and I don't mean it like just You guys are yeah. great parents. That's not what I mean. I'm not uh, saying that we try to be, you, you do it. You're doing a fine job. You really are. That's not what I, it's just like, for me, it was like, and so I just kind of carried that through my life. It's like, I have a hard time just sitting and talking with Michelle about people at work. And that's just me. That's why he depends on me coming out here. Right. I actually have somebody right. So he has somebody to vent to. I can, and, and I can catch up about work because, like, he knows what doesn't he know? Who doesn't he know? I mean, it, with, with Shipper, it's like, you know, six degrees of Brian Shipper, you know, not Sir Bacon. What's his face? Francis Bacon. Don't the, hate the player. Know. Hate I know. Him. It's just you go everywhere and he knows somebody. It, no matter where you go. Find Bob the Fueler. <laughs> that's why you married him, isn't it, though? Because well, you have someone to talk to about your Yes, problems. he's my... <laughs> <laughs> they always try to find that four one one guy at work, and we thought it was the U line trainer. Some no. guys thought it was me. No, it's that quiet one it that is. got his cataracts <laughs> fixed quiet, in the quiet, quiet big break room. <laughs> the quiet, yeah, oh, quiet you, one. I never say a you word. don't see him in the break room when he first gets there. I've seen him a couple times. I walk in. Hey, ship, how you doing? Nah, rah, rah, rah. Oh, okay, get off oh, yeah, your lawn. He just got does it. Not want to talk to you. <laughs> Have you ever thought about it? Maybe you just don't say something when you, you walk by. How many times do I walk by you and give you sign language? Are you sure you don't know Donna? Like on a more personal level? Because he sounds an awful lot. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, no, I'm only no, teasing, no, buddy. No. I'm just teasing. Show no, the know, dark I turn know, right there. <laughs> but there you go. He's listening to a couple podcasts. <laughs> Um, yeah, so anyway, there's saying. there's that. There's the work talk. There's yeah. the constant late dinners because till mom gets out of work, of picks up the baby from the babysitter, daycare, gets Why the hell are you frying up the bacon in the pan? Uh, well, you see, when, when you go to work at 5 o'clock in the morning, you don't get home till 7, 8 o'clock at night. It, it happens. Seven, you know, 8 the, o'clock at night. Most Some nights I see you home at like 6 o'clock <laughs> at night. And you, you cook cooking and you don't. Um, you wait um, until mom gets home and you go, oh, I'm going to go get a shower. And then you lay in bed if dinner's not done. Hmm. <laughs> And then you're downstairs helping mom with everything that she needs help with. And then you go See, right back to laying in Wait bed. for mom, but then I'm helping her. Got it. You, you think you're helping you her. You could still be making way. dinner when you first. <laughs> like, I get when you first get home, you don't want to make dinner and everything. I understand that. You That's why men need dinner. women. You know why? Because, like, if, if we, you know, we oh, wouldn't we'd be cook. Dead. <laughs> we'd, we'd be like, dead. There's, there's bologna in the fridge. If you're hungry, have a sandwich. <laughs> it, it's exactly how it would turn out. There's stuff in the fridge. If it you is. find you figure it out, even if it's a week old, you. You will eat it if you're hungry. <laughs> See, that's the thing. My kid, they will not. They, I, I am in charge of cleaning out the refrigerator. That's why I look like a refrigerator. My kid won't eat any kind of leftover. 
Nope. What? My wife won't leave really? any kind of leftover. Nope. 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 Wow. Nope. Wow. Leftover. Oh. Yeah. So especially the day right? after is the best. Yeah. But my kid will make 400 pound uh, peanut butter and jelly sandwich though. <laughs> <laughs> the jar of each <laughs> two pieces of bread. Blah, blah, blah. You eat it with a fork and a spoon, yep. but you know, it's all good. Or... Oh yeah. <laughs> Which is, that's probably like my most unfavorite food. Side note, peanut butter and jelly. I really got to be in the mood. I really peanut butter and jelly. Yeah. I've really got to be in the mood. Yeah, like, if it's a, like, if I'm looking in like the fridge mm. and the pantry and stuff, I don't find nothing. I'm like, all right, I'm really hungry. I'm just going to make a PB&J because it sounds yeah. good at the moment. I yep. found a new love for it when one of our coworkers um, introduced it to me as a dessert with a cup of coffee after after a meal. Hmm. Because his, his father also works with us part-time I inside. About that. And his father taught it to him. Wait. I'm sure you can figure out the family. There's two brothers and a dad that work there. I probably couldn't because I, I, don't, I, I, I make it a point not to know people. The I first say, time like... I came out, the gentleman I came out with. Oh, okay. I got you. Yeah. Their old man works there? I mean, yeah, he's a part-timer. Yes. He's been there almost a year. What is it? At least. He has. What does he look like? Uh, like he's about shorter than, about as tall as Luigi, but got gray hair. Yeah. Really, not really cool guy. All gray. I'm sure uh, he's really, I'm sure yeah. he's. I, Sorry, I, I had to point it out. Um... <laughs> I am that guy that walks in and just gets my paperwork and goes. Oh, my God. That's the. Well, this type of person to be, especially if, like it's early in the morning. You're not trying to conversate with anyone. You're just trying to sit there. And I just get, get your, my night. No, started, when I come into you know? work at night, I, get people coming out. I says, "Run, don't walk. You're out of here. I <laughs> got to start." Yeah, yeah right? like once Time you're to off, leave. you want to just go yeah, you're home, sick. And lay yeah. in bed, right? Like, <laughs> Time to get on out of it, here. It yeah. is, and I, you know, I mean, I, I know who you mean it. Yeah, but, but yeah, one, once yeah. you have it as a dessert with a cup of coffee, it changes the entire. Do you toast it, or is it just uh, like that's you preference? Toast it's all preference. Okay, because I like the dip. Yeah, but the peanut butter kind of warms up then, and, it's and then it kind of drips into the coffee. Like, yeah, I don't know. And you yeah. might as well just make it into an uncrustable. Yeah, and that point, you just might as well, you know, put some that's, cheese on it. That too. is the. I don't mm. like. For some people, might not understand it. I oh. best type of. Okay. That, that's the father. That's that. All right. Yeah. I, I had no idea. Yeah. It's great. He's got well, pictures I mean, of everybody. What do you do? Just take uh, social media. He's oh. on the thing I know the how to talk and app. look at the old electronic device, unlike, you know, Mr. Google over there. I know, right? Let, just, let's give him credit, though. He's not on it yet. I am impressed. Mm -hmm. Give really him another am. five he minutes. Did a, he did a fantastic job today. I was ordered not to. Uh, he was. That and was I, the one thing they but covered. I, they didn't cover about the opening credits or anything that they covered about the phone. Right, of mm. course. That's why he's flipping the pen. All upset the funniest at part yeah, is that <laughs> he skipped over at the beginning. There's a whole complete part that he was going to explain, yep. and yeah, I had a, I had a million are. things in my head to go through, and then I just had that, you know, Alzheimer's so moment. How comes we you just know? went with buy me and coffee and nothing else? Because we all know there's other opening credits there. That's what there I was talking about. Yeah. You said we'll cover that later. It's later. We will cover that later. Oh, okay. But maybe if you would stop interrupting me, <laughs> when, could. When, when you become <laughs> co host. When you get your okay. own goddamn podcast, you can do what the hell you want. Otherwise, sit down, shut up, enjoy the ride. I was say, we'll ask the questions. You're a guest here. Why are you saying stuff? Yes. <laughs> I've listened to too many of these. I know how I know, it works. Right? It, exactly. It's just a change that, we're, that, that I'm wanting to make. That's all. There you go. That's great. It, yeah. It has nothing to do with anybody or anything. It's just a change. Sometimes it's best you know, for a change. It though. is. You got to do something after yeah. a little bit of time. You just got to make things change a little bit, do something a little bit different. So we're doing something a little bit different. Sounds it's good. not really shaking things up, but. You know, just started this week too. I had a conversation. Lucky. I did have a conversation with HQ about it, and they were like, "Yeah, I think it's a good idea." It was my idea, so I called HQ and, and talked to the two of them down at HQ, and they were like, "Yeah, it's a good idea. I think it's okay. Go up for it. You know, just do do something different. Nothing wrong with that. There's other ways to go about doing other things. So, yeah, it's a change. Anyway, back to Hector because you know you're literally the guest on the show. <laughs> we're literally supposed to be talking to you guys. Not yeah. about the but show. Th that's what makes these episodes fun when I'm here. We always derail them. We do. <laughs> we always have fun with them. It's because you don't know how and to stop at, talking so After the show airs, give it about three, four days, I'll get a phone call from one or two of the line hall guys going, hey, man, this was great, but then there was that part. And, you know, after I was here with my wife, I got a phone call going, yeah. man, you and Shipper really destroyed her episode. I said, so it was a really good one then. <laughs> <laughs> they thought you destroyed her episode? Why? There I it was, was a couple drivers who... Didn't they think appreciate the humor that was on it. Yeah. What humor? Well, that's also where it comes. Him and like, I what? bantering in the corner. Yeah, but it wasn't off color or anything. That oh, was... no. No, it was all great. Just a couple of guys were like, eh. But 
But it's also when it comes back to they don't know your humor like that either. Oh, no, they they yeah, well, they do. And, and, well, <laughs> well, the no, thing I'm, is, is, go ahead. Go ahead, Brayden. No, I don't want to cut you off. Go ahead. No, 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 go ahead. You're the guest. Go talk. Go with your show. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Now <laughs> it's my show. <laughs> now it's my show. <laughs> <laughs> the, one time, <laughs> the one time he'll cut in with something. <laughs> but it's like, that's what makes a, a an in-studio show so much different than, you know, what, what you would do online. Mm-hmm. Because you actually have the interplay between the, 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 the people in the room. That's the point. That, to me, that's why I love doing these. It's so much easier to have a, a conversation. I can look at you and have an idea that you're going you're gonna to say something. So, you know, like you're not, you're not winding up stepping on each other all the time. And you could just joke around and have a good time and, and laugh. And, and, and you know, it could be like one side conversation going on and then another conversation going on. Right. You know? And that's what it's all about, having that conversation. It is. It, and that's what's fun. I think, it's, you know, that's what's fun about doing this is that you actually get a chance to meet 16-year-old Braden because he actually came down along with you. And I think it's cool. I think it's awesome. It's good. It, it, he's, he, and he's the talkative kid, which is really cool. Why do you because I can't tell you how many me? people, we, you know, they just, they're quiet. This show is a talk show. <laughs> you know is that how it works <laughs> it's really how it works We're, you know so but it's it's cool and that's why i think it's so much fun so i don't think yeah. i thought the show with your wife was great i had a great time with it i thought she was informative she was helpful she was shipper fun. and i had a lot of fun you did you probably had a lot of fun afterwards too. <laughs> i have no idea you did <laughs> oh jesus now he broke it he his did. lottery machine apparently didn't his what time is it oh, so, go ahead commence about the show so anyway so what's going on in your life since the last time we were together? Like what's going so on? So the original work thought and of that uh, goes and... coming down and chatting was a yeah. uh, truck driving championship. As you see, I got the, the I state did. shirt on. Yeah. Yeah. They um, give them to everybody. Don't think you're special there, but I actually I had to buy it. it cost me $20. <laughs> <laughs> they suckered you. <laughs> yeah, I know. And that was cheap for being at Kalahari too. So the whole thing, I, I love the concept. I love yeah. it. You know, um, to qualify and get there, you have to have one year safe driving at a minimum. You know, some guys have 30 years. Some of us only had, you know, was our first year, the sure. first year I went. Um, but there's uh, requirements in order to be able to go. Right. And then you have to qualify through your company. So we do that in Harrisburg, which, you know, you guys were there. That was yep. that was a blast. And we will have a video coming out. Maybe by the time this show airs, the video will be out. Oh, that'd be sweet. So, yeah, it should be. I haven't gone on YouTube to look for it. So that'll it's be, not there yet. That'd so. be great. Yeah. Good to know. I, I was talking to HQ about that this week, too. Awesome. And he said, yeah. Within a week or so, we should have it. And That's awesome. I had a lot of fun I'm with that, too. To it. it was really yeah. distracting with you guys there because I just wanted to keep going and talk with Tony. Right. But I was like, wait, I got to do this over here. Right. So it, it was fun. It was Good. great to see you guys out there. Um, I was hoping to see you guys at States, but, you know, scheduling conflict stuff happens. Right. Um, plus, there's not really much you guys could do there because there's more clearances and everything you'd have to go through. And yeah. it's just exactly. a big headache. Um, but as far as the competing and everything, it it's great. You know, um, we go out Thursday night. To, yep. For Pennsylvania, it's Kalahari in the Poconos. Mm-hmm. It's going to be there for at least the next six years, oh, if no not kidding. longer. They wow. sign a long-term contract. That's fantastic. So um, it's close. So we, yeah. For uh, us. For us. And we have counterparts that come from uh, West Middlesex right. and um, Washington. Um, so the, those guys have to drive clear across the state to come here, which sure. you know, it is what it is. But we, we arrive Thursday night. <clears throat> we assemble. Friday, we do our check-in. After we do our check-in, we do our, our uh, written general knowledge test mm-hmm. that they give us based off the book that they have us read. And then Friday night's ours to do what we want. So uh, all the so co- they, they actually give you a book yeah, with the information. Yep. They call it, uh, like this year, it was 2024 Facts for Drivers Okay, was, was the name of it. Which, That's really interesting. You know, it's all um, different codes and stuff, which don't ask me any of them because, you know, you get into like yeah. 113.92, like – yeah, no, Listen, I get you. It's something on the test, so you need to know it. Right. But I couldn't sit here and reiterate. Are those it right like now. FMCSA codes? Yes. Is that what you yeah. mean? Okay. You know, as far as um, you know, driver fitness, sure. hazmat, etc. Like yeah. it's it's all on there. It I even gotcha. they break it down. There's a general knowledge. You know, just just your basics, and then they have like a health and safety. You mm-hmm. know, uh, what do you do? Like basically like a first aid type deal. Yeah. Um, it's. I think there's like three or four different components in the test, but all the answers are in that book. Okay. So you've got to take the time to read the book and go from there. Yeah. So that's, that's your Friday. So Friday night is yours to do as you please. You have access to the water park. 
um oh, that's this, cool this past year the the group of coworkers that were there we decided we're gonna go have dinner together which was great um one of the gentlemen from hazelton actually lives like 10 minutes from the venue that we were I at bet. so he knows yeah. it very well up there and he ended up flipping the dinner bill for us caught us all off guard oh, wow yeah yeah, yeah. When we went to the brewery yeah. so we all you know we're all thrown in every everybody who had cash we're throwing it at him we're throwing it on the table right. like dude like we didn't expect that so you know you, you cover your weight either tip or yeah. try to give it back to him do the right thing which you know and then uh saturday you wake up you go out uh based off wait i think i may have done that wrong saturday's all driving so friday we also do our pre-trip stuff too right um so there's actually a pre-trip test okay. where they will make sense sabotage stuff you know mm-hmm. they'll make uh, like mock um defects and stuff that you have sure. to find and of course it's something so simple that you'll overlook like mm-hmm. this year one of the things the only thing that was in cab that you found was a piece of tape on the fire extinguisher me personally i seen it mm-hmm. never called it as a defect and kept going and later found out that that was one the, the defect in the cab defect um, because it's it's obscuring the the gauge. Oh, okay. So it was on, so it was the on needles top of the gauge. Got to be within okay. the green. Yeah, yeah. So it's on top of the gauge. I got gotcha. you. So it's not like you know a random piece of tape on the on the bottom of the extinguisher. Right. No, like it's where you should be checking to do your stuff. You'll yeah. see it. Um, they have what five major defects, ten minor defects for a total of hundred points. Okay. You know, five, uh, five points for the minors and ten points for the majors. Um, so that that's great. And then Saturday's all driving. Right. You do the driving stuff in the morning, you know, based on your class. Mm -hmm. So they'll call your class. You have to be out there, go through it. And then when you're done, you're free to go till the banquet at night. And that's when you find out, you know, your scores, who won, stuff like that. But the road test, you know, you're given, you're only given such a large area to work with. Right. They made it into two courses. So for them to decide what they want to do as far as set up, you know, the maneuvers you have to do and everything. It gets a little tricky because you only have, again, so much room. This year, the course, they made it so simple. A lot of us overthought it. Really? Like, Isn't really that funny? overthought it. It was just, it was a really basic, like, you just got your CDL type course. Okay. You know, just passing the test there. And a lot of guys struggled with it. No. Because you know, that's, that's how important this competition is to some of the guys. It's right. all, you know, based on your safety and everything. Sure. Yeah. You know, so when you get out there and you, you know, you got to keep close to the line here, you got to, stop your icc bumper there you gotta right. be close to the cones here back up to the alley dock there right make a right turn make a left turn you know whatever the case is it, yeah and you really overthink it quickly um but one of our guys from our company actually qualified to go to national out of maryland um he's done it quite often he's really yeah. really good yeah, what he does. Yep. yeah yeah he's really good dude um I was actually just talking with him because they just had it out in Indiana. Right. He finished 10th in his class this year. Wow. So even <clears> just <throat> to make it out in the nationals and be able to represent him on that level. Yeah. And get in the top 10 finish. Like that was just, that was freaking phenomenal. Isn't it amazing that we all shoot for that goal. And yeah. the fact that we have guys doing it is awesome. Right. And, 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 and it should encourage <laughs> drivers. It should encourage everybody who gets involved in this thing that, yeah, right. it can be you. You can do it. Mm-hmm. You know, it, it's a skills test. It, you know, it, it is what it's about. It's about doing your job and doing it the best you can and enjoying it. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I think that's, that's what's so cool. It, it could be anybody. And that's where you know? I try to recruit guys out of our terminal to go. Cause right. apparently from what I'm told, I was the first one out of our terminal two years ago to go. Wow. And no Start kidding. representing, you know, Allentown. Um, so I try to get special guy. Yeah, yeah. Well, well, of course. we'll leave that alone. <laughs> um, I try to get more guys to come out and do it because yeah. the, the more the merrier, you know, the right. more fun Good. we have in the company level to right. qualify. You the know, more camaraderie yeah. you have. Yeah, you know, exactly. Trying to bring the guys together. Yeah. But then you get the people persons where they're yeah, just like, exactly. nah, no, nah, that's not for me. You know, the guys right. that come to work, it's like, all right, man, listen, some of us are different than others. I get it. But it's. It's a lot of fun. I look at it this way. When we go to the, the company level, yeah, they feed us. They feed our families. They invite 100%. the families along. Like They, yep. they take care of us. Um, when you go out to the state level, every company is different. Some companies require their drivers to pay their entire way. Right. Other companies literally, hey, we're, we're taking care of everything for you the weekend. And then you have everybody in between. Sure. Um, 
you know, our company takes really good care of us while That's we're out awesome. there. So, you know, you have Thursday night, Friday night, and Saturday night in the hotel. You don't have to leave. You don't have to be out of your hotel room till 11 a.m. on Sunday. Wow. But you take all your stuff to your car. You can go hit the water park till whenever. They say 3 o'clock, they kick you out. Yeah, but you check out of your room. Yeah. So. yeah. Do you check out of your room and then go to the water park? Or, or do you just so go to we, and you we check just out go whatever? Home. Yeah, we just go home. Yeah. Um, well, we'll go to the water park before it's checkout time just so we could <coughs> because mom normally comes up the day of the actual stuff going on. She won't come gotcha. up the night before. So we'll go to the water yeah, park with her and my little brother. So then we'll go to do that stuff and hit the arcade for a little bit. Right. Cool. Yeah. So that's all fun and games there. Right. Yeah. Literally just out competing and have, having fun with it. Yeah. I think, I think it's really cool. I do. And I, I had a great time when we were at the, the one at, at Harrisburg, you know, with the company. It yeah. Was a blast. And, uh, you know, just watching what goes a on. A little breezy, though, out there. It was a little yeah. breezy that day. Yeah, it always seems to be that way. It's like, you, know? It's like, you know, second week in April. It, but, hey, don't worry. It's going to be like 40 degrees. And it's only going to get to like weather. 50. Yeah. And, you know, and the wind's, wind's going to be, be 80, yeah. degree, or 80 mile an hour. Yeah. Like. <laughs> yes, yeah. You know, a 30 degree wind chill. <laughs> you know, that's a 40 degrees. It feels like 10. Yeah. But we're Can't good. Put a drone up because it'll be blowing <laughs> right into the, into the, the rail lines. yard. <laughs> <laughs> can't cross that boundary no <laughs> but it was it was it was a blast we, we had a great time we did it was just great to, to see it because i thought we had a lot of people yeah show up yeah so know, there I mean, at, for at what you line. guys saw we had uh new york was represented yep new jersey pennsylvania maryland and i think there may have been virginia i'm not sure i th- hmm. thought i heard the one guy say he may have been from roanoke or something yeah um, but don't hold me to that. I know right. definitely Maryland, Jersey, Pennsylvania, and New York yeah. were there. Yeah. Um, so that we're was Harrisburg? Yeah. 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 yeah Sound really. right? And say he's thinking. He is thinking. I don't remember somebody from Roanoke. But I mean, I could be wrong. You see the I mean, steam I could be wrong too. start going when he thinks. <laughs> that was back in April, and yeah, we're way past that now. Yeah. It is. I know. It's like it's, been it's, it's months ago. Then. I know. It's yeah. like, <laughs> sorry. We can go to the video footage. <laughs> <laughs> Roll that beautiful bean footage, huh? Is that what you're trying to say, Ship? <laughs> Hopefully, within a week, we'll be able to, be able to do that. that that's when we hope. get it. That is the hope. I was going to so, say, Jack, over to you. No. <laughs> <laughs> One of these days, you know. <laughs> Always got to pick on Jack. Yeah, Always. I, I have know. fun with him. But... He, he's a blast. He's a very yeah. laid back person, which is yep. good. You know, He rolls with it, he throws it out, which is great. He does. He does. And that, I, it, that's what makes it easier to deal with him. Yeah. You know? So, but anyway. Anyways, so how did you place? Where where was your? How did you place as far uh, so as the states go? So in my division, I was eighth out of twenty five this year. Nice. In the states. That's fantastic, dude. Yeah, um, I was up against guys. They've been doing this. Um, the guy who won the class. This is his fifteenth year, I believe. Doing wow. It. So when you know, you're it's your second year. You have guys that have been doing it that long. Yeah. They're used it, to the the pressure. They're used to right. The, it's more goals to, to get through, you know, more um, motivation. Yeah. Because him and I were actually talking before we found out that he won the, the division. We were out assembled waiting to go in. They yeah. call it the uh, Parade of Champions. So they'll bring you in. You have to take the microphone, announce your cla- your name, your class, your company. And you go on <clears throat> and go through. It's, you know, you right. can see it on the Facebook for the PMTA website. Um, so him and I were actually talking. And he's like, dude, for your first five years, he goes, you may do very well. He goes, but it's going to take you that long to just sit down and settle down and do sure. it. He's not wrong. It's I bet. It's a lot of pressure. And if you're mm-hmm. not used to it, right. you get there. Yeah, 100%. Because it's one of those things that, you know, you think about it and you do it and you're you're engaged in it. But the the thought, it, it doesn't stop running through your head. Right. You know, you, you, you just like, you know, your second year is like, uh, you know, it's like I, I'm, I'm the kind I'm a, I'm, a, a, I'm a nervous kind of guy. Like I would I would be nervous sitting there and waiting. You know, to do my thing, and then you get done with it, and you're like, "Oh, I could do that again. That wasn't that bad." You know, see, that's the thing. Like, we we know who's got the jitters, who doesn't, right? Um, you know, you talk about camaraderie with that and everything. You literally have so many different companies that are represented there. So, as long as your company contributes towards the PMTA, you're eligible to go. Yeah, uh, we have some companies that don't. It's like, oh, why isn't X Y Z company here? And it's, oh, you know, that's why. Right. But the camaraderie there. You know, we, we try to pick up the new people and mm-hmm. I say that in my second year, but that's just, 
shows you the bonds that we have out there. Right, right. You, know, you, you try to pick up the new people, calm them down, you know, remind them, hey, you know, you know what you're doing. Just you got to right. take your time. Um, the biggest thing is the rules and everything. Like you can't have your phones, you can't have uh, watches. Okay. And apparently this year it was brought up, so I'm sure it'll be in the rules next year. Do you know they actually have glasses now that have Bluetooth capabilities in it? Yes, the, the, they're like the, the the Google Pixel glasses sure. or something like There's that. There's a bunch of different ones so where yeah. you can play music, you could do wow. a whole video from sure. the glasses so and stuff like that. I knew nothing about that until we're sitting in the room going over everything and somebody had asked the question about it. Right. I was like, whoa, so that's going to be introduced to the rules. You know, that's not allowed. Um, so literally they force you to either stay to yourself, be a people person, right, or mingle amongst each other which is just phenomenal i love that sure so when you pick up the 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 vibe that somebody's not okay you just hey what's going on you take their mind off it right and suddenly they're out there having fun too which is yeah. just it's great and that, that is the thing is, is is go and enjoy yourself have a good time yep you know turn the brain off you know that it, it, it's so hard to do but if you do it you can have a good time i know we had a we had a blast just like i said going to the one at pit um it's just it, it's it's so good to do it for yourself. And and the thing is, the thing that, that uh, as well as like those spots in my head that I get to is like, what are you nervous about? Mm -hmm. Everybody who is here has had their first year here. Yeah, you know what I mean. They they had to be they had to have their their moment where it's your first time. Take it easy and relax. You yeah. know, <laughs> just you, it'll be it'll be good. Yeah. It'll be fine. Yeah, it's just we had a straight truck guy. So the guy who won straight truck in Harrisburg ended up not being able to go. He had prior obligations. So the next guy was able to go. Right. He went out. He finished third. His first year. No, he finished kidding. third. That's fantastic. And he point he had enough points where I thought he was going to win rookie, rookie of the year. Uh -huh. He did not, unfortunately. But the point is, is the guy was out there his first time right. and walked home with some brass like that. That was awesome. That is really awesome. That is. And it's, 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 you never know what you can do until you try it. Right. You don't know what you're going to be able to accomplish. You don't know if you're going to even, you know, if you're going to find this to be an uh, an interesting thing for you, if you're going to enjoy doing it. And um, unless you give it a shot, you've got to give life a shot. Right. Well, no matter what. And, and it doesn't it doesn't matter if it's if it's if it's doing the competition, the truck, the trucking rodeo or if it's just anything else in life, unless you do it. Yeah. You're always going to wonder, could I have done it? So since you said give it a shot kind of segues into my other thought that there I had. You go. And with TDC, everything kind of revolves around, you know, pride. You have to have company pride, right? Yeah. We all we all love the company we work for. We love what we do or we wouldn't be doing it, right? Right. You know, you'd move on just as easily. Um, you had actually gotten a witness. Now, again, I have to watch what I say. I have to watch what I release. But you know where you've seen us. Uh, you you kind of know what was going on with it. Mm -hmm. um, Mac Truck had released that they were looking for. They did a photo contest for their 2025 yeah. calendar. Yeah. So you take the picture, you submit it. They put it out. Everybody would go vote on it, right. and the top trucks from the divisions are who's going to be in the calendar. So when this got See? centerfold, I told you. Yeah. <laughs> we'll get to that. I'm not going to buy that. I'm not going to buy that one. We'll get to that one in a second because there's going to be a centerfold that he'll get for free. Um, when that got brought to my attention, the I staples said, will be at the wrong spot. <laughs> <laughs> it's always what happens. <laughs> um, I said, hey, why not? I got a couple of really good pictures from the ports. I'm going to submit yeah. one. Yeah, you have all kinds of time to take pictures, you know, <laughs> oh, yeah. glossy stills, you know, sunrise, sunset, <laughs> still at the port. <laughs> hey. The scenery changes. The truck puts no miles on. That's what I said. Hey, there you go. Um, so I submitted that picture to Mack Truck to the contest. Okay. And, you know, they ask you a series of questions. You know, do you own the truck? And, you know, obviously, no, I don't. I work right. for I work for somebody. Well, do you have their permission? Me knowing full well the company supports us, nothing derogative. It was very professional. You know, everything was sure. good. Like, yeah, yeah, I have their permission. No problem. Well, they verify awesome you know they got to cover their tails which is great yep and uh our marketing team ended up getting involved they completely rewrote my description that was on there i'm like i like what they wrote but that's not what i wrote like i was just having fun with it to me right. it was all just it was just fun yeah you know was there from was the, from your perspective right there was no you know oh well the sun was shining on the glistening day and filled up no that's <laughs> not me like <laughs> it's hey, not a truck driver I'm, dude yeah <laughs> I'm there having fun. The, the sun looked cool. I took right, a picture. Right, right. 
Um, so they went through it, and then our marketing team actually put it out to the world. You know, yeah. hey, come vote for our chalk. We ended up taking first place in the anthem division. Isn't that really cool? Yep. So that's awesome. Um, my assigned truck from work qualified for the photo shoot. Yeah. And that's what you got to witness that day. I did. Me yeah. With the that's Mac. what that was. Those huh? were actually the Mac brand photographers. Oh no, kidding! So everything that you see that's official Mac brand, right? Those. Those the are the guys gentlemen that, that you've it. seen were the guys who do it. That is really so cool. That, that was awesome. Uh, so the truck, you know, will be in the 2025 calendar. Right. So just it goes back to the pride and you know liking what you do and yeah, you know, just a little idea of being bored and hey, just do this, do that. Um. So you can tell the port guys ship. You know the, the being bored part. <laughs> <laughs> who's, who's sitting long enough to be bored? Those, those, are, those are the people that war, read War and Peace, and they can read it while they're, <laughs> while they're waiting for the container. Pride and Prejudice. Yeah. You know, it depends on the driver. So with a couple of our unloads, I've actually now read you, uh, four books in the last eight months. I haven't read a book in 15 years. And now, now you are. Look at that. Yeah. See how efficacious this is. He, puts, he can put words together. <laughs> and there's not even any pictures. <laughs> <laughs> that's where I went wrong. It is, right? Is it? No, that's fantastic. Yeah, I should just read the dictionary next because then every book's just a remix. It is. That's right. <laughs> You've covered it all. <laughs> you just, you know, make your own book. Um, but yeah, so uh, after that's we were cool. done the photo shoot that day, yeah. I had I had taken a couple pictures and put them out to the team that was involved with putting everything together. Uh-huh. And uh, the vice president of supply chain actually come back and he, he asked, well, we, we all know John. John's yeah. a great guy. Uh, yeah, he's been on the show. Yeah. He asked, um, you know, hey, did you get a picture of you with the truck? And yeah, they took a couple different poses of me with the truck, you know, a couple headshots. Right. He goes, cool. I want to see if we can get it. I'm like, well, that leave it to marketing, you know, let them do right. it. Me not even thinking. He turns on and goes, yeah, it'll make a great terminal talk thing or uh, page. I'm like, awesome. Not even thinking about it. There I am having fun doing this, doing that. Right. He hits me with that, and I went, What do you, oh. whoa, 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 Mr. All About You. What do you mean <laughs> you didn't even think about this? I call bullshit. I did not think about bullshit. going that far. Bullshit. Nope. I call nope. it. Nope. I'm telling you. Nope. You can mm-hmm. smell it all you want. You were sitting there at the picnic table. Oh, geez, I got to come in Saturday morning and do this photo shoot. Shut up. <laughs> See, my douche. question is, when did this even happen? Because this is the first I'm hearing about this. Huh. Uh, it was a couple of weeks ago. I remember driving through the yard, driving around the building on Saturday morning. Voila, Hector and the, and the guys with the cameras. I'm like, I drive up. I'm like, what the heck's going on? <laughs> yeah, they kept saying something about wanting another truck. I'm like, you need another driver? Because that's the guy we're going to ask right there. <laughs> <laughs> Glad <laughs> you didn't. <laughs> They're like, no, no, we're good. <laughs> oh, no, he's got a face for radio. <laughs> Amen, brother. Great face for radio. <laughs> yes, <laughs> the perfect face for radio. Yeah, so so that was a lot of fun. Yeah, you know, they um, start and stuff like that. I'm hoping more drivers will take that initiative yeah. and and have fun with it. Like, they do that every year, don't they? Mm-hmm. There's actually another contest going on right now through the end of this month uh-huh. for the dealership that we use. I got oh. sent the paper on it. I'm like, no, I'm not doing another one. Oh, if somebody else on, wants to do it, it, I will gladly send them the flyer. You should have did it. But all my pictures that I have currently are already out in the world. So uh, there's no So you would have to take no more point for it to even be right. able to do it. Right. And so just keep sending the same picture because they'll know it's the same picture. And it's like you just right. then they're just gonna stop being like, Oh, look, we're not gonna have you do it if you're not gonna give us anything new. Exactly. I mean it's <clears throat> Hector in a speedo, it says Pit Ohio. No. No, it's <laughs> not a ring to it, but I feel like there might be an HR conversation to follow. It probably would be. <laughs> I think mom might slap you if you do that. She probably would. <laughs> yeah. And now that you both just have that image in my head, I don't like you both. You're current. welcome. <laughs> it's going to be a fun ride home. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to have both of my headphones in and I'm going to sleep. Yep. <laughs> I'll turn Spice Girls on for you again. Hey, we were jamming out in the car. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> it was At a fun first, ride I had out. my music on, then he started playing random stuff. We listened to two really good songs that we both knew, and then the white girl music started playing. Ah. <laughs> Very first song, we were jamming out to it before I had to change it, because I was like, no, not right now. <laughs> 
Well, that's really cool. It, it is cool. All the stuff that you've been that you've been doing. I think it really yeah. is neat. And I'm glad that uh, that you come on and talk about those things. Yeah. So we you know? we do still have some of the growth coming on the side of the job that I do. Um, you know, as like everything in Sky, it's ups and downs. Right. Um, couple of the things that John had spoke about. I had listened to his episode. Right. Couple of things that he had spoken about. We're getting really close to one of them coming through. Right. So I'm super excited to see when that one comes through. Um, him and I actually just had a phone call the other week, and he was asking me a couple questions. I had to do a little quick research for him, which was you know, took five minutes of my time. Like whatever. Yeah. Um. Well, you do sit down for like ten hours, so. Well, I mean, I five minutes all day is, if you want to get technical. There you so go. That's what I mean. So you might as so well five take that ten, five minutes. Real quick. Um, but the stuff that's coming for for our growth and everything, uh-huh. it's going to be great. I hope it's so. going to be. I really do. I hope it. I hope it is. So um, you know, I hope that it it, it uh, is beneficial for the company. Oh, absolutely. Just, you know, the, the plans they have, you know, you know, they don't do anything unless it makes sense, or in this case, makes dollars. But. Right. Well, yeah, it needs to. You know, <laughs> yeah. that that's our bread and butter you know yep. that's where we live it's yeah just the way it is it has to be that way but i think it's cool i think it's really cool i'm looking forward to hearing more about the things that they have on the table the things that they're looking at you, you know? might be able to get to go see it firsthand if you talk to the right people hmm. you never know you never know we keep teasing you about moving with the kids you never know what's on the horizon mm. so you tell me i have to i have to travel south What's wrong with traveling south? Oh man, better weather. Oh, hold on. It, it, now there's ideas we need to go talk to people about. The, the hard part is that is, is an, I, I have one up here and two down there, and it's where do you go? We should move to Alaska. That way, you know, nobody feels like mom and dad love so and so more. You know, so if I'm, I don't want, but I want to go to Alaska. Cause it's cold. That's like not my thing. It's got to be someplace warmer. Texas is hot. I can live there. A lot of hot chicks, too. He's married. Eh, I'm 56, dude. <laughs> it's like, you know. Damn. It don't, it don't matter. Say, you might be you able know. to find someone that's the same hey. age as hot. Uh, what's Shippers thinking? You're married, not dead. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not thinking that, but. You're still breathing, so you he knows. Chance. He knows what I'm thinking. <laughs> still sucking wind, as they say. Yes, yeah, that's still it. upright and breathing. It's a good thing. Eh, yeah, but. <laughs> If I could get another vacation week by myself, that'd be good. So, oh, well, let's see. You got what? Forty years with the company means you should have about thirteen weeks of vacation by now. I this wish isn't, this isn't a steel company. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I've got six, so that, that's the limit. Okay. So something to look forward to. I'm only at yeah. two right now. Yeah. Let me put this in perspective. I'll never get the six weeks because I'll be out before then. <laughs> He's planning on an early retirement. That's, that's no, it's just <laughs> it's not retirement. It's early death. <laughs> you got what? One one more license to go. Let me let me figure this out. Oh, we're gonna be sitting now. Here we for want him to I know right now. So now you got him <laughs> thinking. Ah, come on. So now Wait. we're gonna be sitting here for like an hour and a half, Wait. just yep. waiting, just waiting for the answer. Yeah, one license and one year on. One more hazmat. One year of a hazmat. Hey, so how's that new breakdown coming? Because I always weird. thought we did the hazmat when we did our license. It's no. weird now. Now it's stupid. Like they're actually holding it to a five year thing now. And you your, have to go. your your TSA thing approval is good for five years. Right. Like mine was coming up and I was you know, while my I was mm-hmm. out with my eyes doing all this and they say my TSA status is good until July of next year. So it's already five years. Okay. So TSA will send you a letter saying you need to get your fingerprints done. You still have to take your hazmat renewal certification when your license comes due every four years. But the TSA thing, fingerprinting, you do every five. I'm still trying to understand why. Why yeah. they split it. That that's a, I'm I'm just trying to understand what why why the process of changing it from four to five years for the fingerprinting, but your license is still four years, your hazmat is still four years. All well, of those things are how Just still, look up the number for from Mr. Booty Judge and ask him. I don't think Mr. Booty Judge is going to give me an answer. Why? Come on. It, it just doesn't make sense to me. Like the, it, it just seems like it becomes 
an extra step for everybody now. Instead of it just I, uh, all gets taken care of and like we're I done said, for four years. It's just, you know, it's, we're it's morons. Just, drivers. It's a government operation. You need to match everything up. Make the license five years. Make the hazmat five years. I agree. Make That's the hazmat it. fingerprinting five years. So it's all together. So it's we all, paid a difference right. so that nobody loses any kind of money. Well, I, I, just, I, I don't understand why. This, whenever you do stuff like this, it, it's what causes problems the federal problems government is trying to scale back. No, they want their employees. So uh, that's uh, why they're going five years. <laughs> they still have to do everybody's license every five years. It does. It doesn't matter because well, everybody's you know, COVID comes came up about, at different so they times. Have to catch up. <laughs> well, you know, what also doesn't if you ask a question doesn't hurt to get an answer. It might not be the answer you want. But you can still ask. I, I, yeah. I mean, I just want to know you why talk to the government lately. If, have it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If, I'm not saying don't just, go say, asking questions like government. Don't worry. Give big you government will take care answer. of you. They'll be like, oh, yeah. well, you see. If the government was, tells you you don't need a gun, you need a gun. <laughs> Ask any Native American Indian about What's that. that? <laughs> just saying. Ah, you got me going. <laughs> Well, I was going to say is like, don't ask the government anything because they'll be like, oh, it was the Israelis. They came up with this and then, you know, we had to bomb them and this just happened. Mm. Right. <laughs> there went that dark twist again. I know. <laughs> so I was like, what? Woo! Hey, guess where I got that from? But it's, it just like, I want to, like, when you're going to make things that are, that you, if you're going <gasps> to take things and throw it into upheaval and confuse everybody and everybody walk around going, how is this working now? Because now I got this on, in five years, this in four years. Why are you, why, why, I want to know the why. I want to know what's the reason for this. That's, that's all so, I want. I want a logical reason that hmm. says that makes sense. If you're just going to look at me and tell me, well, you know, that gives the, the government an extra year. Everybody's licenses are still going to come due. Everybody's hazmat is still going to come due. Everybody's freaking TSA thing is still going to come due. It doesn't matter. It's, it's not like it puts everybody off for an extra year and gives the government a chance to catch their breath. Right. They, they, they're the bit, they're the largest employer in the country. If they can't handle their job, they all need to leave. You, you talk about again, this is the why I get irritated because I'm tired of the government playing dumb games. Man. It's stupid. You got everybody who has, who has finally figured out everything they've got to do in the past 20 years with the TSA bull crap because you're the, you're the problem. You're the criminal. We got people coming across the border left and right. 10,000 a day. We're not worried about those people. We're worried about you, the truck driver. You might be the problem. So we're going to have to fingerprint you. We're not fingerprinting 10,000 people a day coming across the border. But I got to get the fingerprinted. The border is secure. What the hell are oh, you I talking know, about? I know. Kamala like, told me. <laughs> Kamala told me it's secure. She's, she hasn't been there, but it's secure. But thank you, Highway Heroes, for everything <laughs> <anyway>. you do. <laughs> That so that's the, that was my rant, and I'm, it just drives me crazy. That's another thing that the PMTA actually is into is the human yeah. trafficking and stuff. So you're talking about you know illegal crossings yeah. and whatnot. Yeah. Um, Sorry, but I got on my, no, on, on my no, little I, high horse. My little, I told uh, him that I purposely did that because I need to breathe for a second. There. <laughs> it just drives me insane. Um, I will tell you though that we'll talk later <laughs> off, but there's an avenue that you could pursue to get your answer. Become president. I could do that. I'm old enough. <laughs> You're, yeah. And I could take a nap as easily as any other old president can. Well, just don't, I, I can fall asleep. Just, but were you in the swimming pool? And the, never mind. Never mind. We're not going to go there. <laughs> Hold on. I was going to say, just don't be like Biden and falling asleep everywhere. Right. Well, there you go. I mean, I can fall asleep just as easily as he can. <laughs> but no, I told it, Let's just, just not have another JFK situation. Whoa. There you whoa go. Easy. easy. Well, back into the left. Uh, all I said is let's not have another one. I'm not saying we should start another one. Brandon's like, what, too soon? Braden is it's like, fine. what, too soon? I apologize. But I'm also saying, let's not have another situation <laughs> like that. I'm with you, yeah. I'm not saying, oh, we should have another JFA. No, I'm saying let's not have that happen. Oh, yeah, they they tried that and it didn't work. Well, it didn't. <laughs> Just saying. They okay, failed. but also if you miss that shot, don't get me wrong. It's a hard enough shot in the first place. If you think about it, it's a hard enough shot in the first place. So, can you blame the person for missing? No. Yes. Should have never had the opportunity to take the shot. You I can't blame. No, hold on. You cannot blame I, him, though. The simple question I had was, and I'm a dumb truck driver. Yes. Yeah, but I go hunting. Okay. Why the fuck wasn't there somebody put on Why the top the of the waters tower? Heck. No, 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 not heck. No, it is. And I understand. Well, the also, question. this is where it comes to what I was going to say was, yes, 
there should have been someone watching that rooftop. But also, if you look, because I saw this a couple of things, so I actually looked up and did a little research onto it. Yeah, a CIA agent, a CIA agent, lost their job because he actually had the shooter in his sight and got told, "Do not shoot," and he lost his job because he disobeyed order and killed him, and he took the shot. And he Oopsie. lost it, and he lost his job because of it. So if you look at it, that makes you point the finger at the CIA, whoever, yeah, everyone that totally was agree. supposed to be protecting him. Why would you tell him do not take the shot if you have no one even going near it, but yet they know he's there? Yes, there should have been someone on there. Okay, who do you blame? CIA. They're supposed to be the ones that were watching over him. Yeah, Secret Service, right? It's people are supposed to be watching over him. They should yeah, have I, known about it. They can tell. Look at just I before even set up drive. See what is there so you know where you have to be set up yep. and just what you need to do. Say, oh, just Scope out the venue. have someone just sit there. Yep. You don't got to do anything. Just sit there with a sniper just in case. Yep. You're the backup shooter if anything happens. Yeah. It, if it, one can't see it, you have happened. an angle that someone else doesn't. Yep. And yet you fire someone that took the shot saving the president and yet he loses his job because he did the right, right thing. That's seems counterproductive there's something not right about the situation now you're talking my language brother that a lot of people <laughs> are not realizing and people are just overlooking there's something not right that assassination was supposed to work in my opinion that i think yeah we all got that picture shortly after you know with hillary what do you mean he missed yeah, yeah. <laughs> i did see, i did see that mean no <laughs> i did send it to you yeah, that's, what, <laughs> that's what i mean and it was that funny. was supposed to work the yeah. shooter screwed delete up, the email and yet now look at She's what's happened bleaching. since then and it's right. like some gov i'm not gonna say the government needs to really do some research into some of it to see no they're not they don't do any research because they're the ones that were involved in it <laughs> <laughs> saying no research to be had when it's just right. conspiracy I'm, to begin with. Nothing to say here. Like in general, <laughs> someone needs to do something about it to like at least look into it. Be like, okay, this is really not good. What happens and who sent who to? Oh, it's just it's funny to me that like in twenty twenty four we were supposed to know who killed Kennedy too, and we still don't get those answers yet. <laughs> oh, well, we're not. In, we, we we can't handle that the kind truth, of thing. You know what? Say, exactly. Yeah, like, <laughs> that truth if we can. That that is that's exactly and that that's how the government looks at us. Like we're their children and right. and we can only handle it's like no. That's why you just need to hold on to that steering wheel all night. It is why. Because it keeps well, me sane. Believe me, some nights I just want to let it go. <laughs> <laughs> and and do what? Well, you know. What are you gonna do, Shep? What would you do if you weren't a driver? Oh, no, I wasn't talking about that. I just There's some people there on the road that I just want to let the steering wheel go. <laughs> and let the chips fall on my way they may. But there's a good question for you, though. What would you do if you weren't a truck driver? I don't give a what shit. What would you I'll do if you weren't a truck? What would you do? You, what would you do if you weren't driving truck, Ship? That's With a good question. I'll be a, safety I'll record be a communication expert. Oh, there you go. I know. I, I, I take expert. notice. You're a communication expert on your phone while you're on a podcast. <laughs> okay. You want to know what I'm doing right now? I am performing duties that AAA was supposed to take care of. Okay. This is what's happening. My neighbor texted me. The car didn't start. Okay. So what do I do? First thing out, people I know send out where the kid is. The kid's in the hole fixing the gas main. Right. Okay. Can't get him. So what do I do next? Get the wife, drag her out for making cards, go out in the garage, get the battery charger, grab an extension cord, and get on over to her place. If you can see the battery. And then we're waiting. It's we're up to that point now. We we we're all caught up. It started. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Mrs. Shipper, you go, lady. Yeah. Well, here here it is. Here here it is. Uh, if he can no, read, not took three of us and a new, FaceTime new call with some guy. Some what? guy. Okay, AutoZone. It would be nice if you zone. could see the battery. Auto and zone. I texted her. Well, you need to discuss this with the engineers at Ford. <laughs> Who's the guy that said, let's enclose the battery in a small little casing? Again, I send a text. It is now the engineer at Ford that developed this. The same engineer that put a star right. under the valve cover. There you go. See? Now she texts me back. Now I have a headache and need a drink. Was that Mrs. Ship or was <laughs> <Yes>. that, <you? laughs> that the neighbor lady? Imagine. They all she, have a headache and need a drink. She knows now. he was getting ready to come home and she's got a headache. <laughs> yeah. they, notice how she didn't follow up on the AutoZone guy. Mm -hmm. He's probably shot himself. No, the auto. <laughs> she, 
she's taking she's taking the truck up the auto zone to get a battery slammed in it right now. That's a good idea. Go I think it's a really good idea. You know, that way it it foregoes the problem, and they'll put it in for. Her. Yeah, that's so what she I, doesn't have to worry about why, taking the cover that's why off. That's why auto zone. Yeah, then she doesn't have to worry about removing the cover again. <laughs> <laughs> that's exciting isn't it this is this is life this is this is life as it happens i'll take it you know you go from yeah. having having pride you know taking care of your stuff cleaning your stuff to uh slamming batteries in the Sla- hole that's right just slamming batteries so what would you be shipper if you weren't a driver i honestly think i go back to uh turning tow wrenches truck? again yeah tow truck tow truck or, or yeah. being a mechanic actually tow truck i would think yeah yeah for simple fact is i just like pissing people off yeah, you do a good job of that. Oh, yeah. That. So how come you didn't apply for the promotion when it was available at work? I didn't make it. What? Work the wrench there? For, no. Just saying, you want to make people angry. It's a good no. way to do it, right? Amen. No, I, I'd have them upset right in, in a minute. What do you mean I'm only replacing one injector? I'm in here or six here. Do them all. So he's got the, the ear cannons on and still missed what I said. He, uh, he did. He did. Yeah. But could you imagine Shiver being a supervisor? No, well, he'd be a damn good one. One hundred percent. There'd be a lot of people worried about uh, snowflakes, but <laughs> there'd be know. a lot of people looking for other jobs. I but. think in the uh, in the expansion process, they would add an additional office, and on the top, it's going to say human resources, and on the bottom, it's going to say to Not, watch Brian Shipper. <laughs> yeah, human, <laughs> human resources. Human resources in. Not giving a shit. <laughs> So what about you, Merkel? If you weren't out here holding on, what would you do? I don't know. You know, it's like it's it's been so long. I try and think. What would I do? I don't know. I've what tried. are your interests? What are your hobbies? What do you like doing? What have you done prior to your <laughs> twenty eight years holding on to a steering wheel here? I installed sitting on the systems. couch holding it down. <laughs> <laughs> I, if I yeah, I'd like to get paid for that one. If I, I installed security systems years ago, uh, yeah, like in businesses and homes. Well, oh, speaking of Skittles, I would not want to go back to doing that. When you I know? talked to Skittles about the the Blair thing, you yeah. know, you installing the security yeah. systems, and he was working there when he came over to do the steps, right? Um, yeah, he's oh yeah, he he actually did that. He's just, he's like yeah, those guys usually come in when we're finished up. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's how it worked. Yeah, I just laughed. That was it was beautiful. It was a beautiful thing. But no, I wouldn't want to do that again. So but, but, I'd have to find something new. Something new. Yep. Something. To, I don't know what it would be, but it would have to be something different. Something that I haven't done. But my boy Skittles there, he does have some mean skill saw sets. I bet he does. Yeah, he, says he did alarm installs, truck yeah, driving, truck what else driving he late done? concrete, uh, worked in a factory. Was it a button <laughs> factory? Did you push buttons all day? I didn't like uh, why do I? I don't know. I don't, I, like I don't know what I would try to do. I don't know what would be the next thing. Like I, I think about it sometimes because, you know, thirty-one years of doing this is. Hey, here's my wife after one road call. <laughs> <laughs> and it's only one. Yes, <laughs> it should be a six and pack she, sitting there. And she only had to walk across the driveway, <laughs> which is why it's safe for her to have that. She's have to drive home. <laughs> Well, the battery charges on yeah. wheels, so we don't know if we can bring that home. <laughs> It'll stay. Don't worry about it. It's across Is it the motorized driveway. and have gears? Oh. That's what matters. <laughs> there you go. I don't know. What would you do? Do you have any ideas what you would do? So if I was coming to you next, Braden, we're, we're, we're heading towards you. So if think I wasn't about it. bound to the job that I'm currently in, I would You'd actually be a high school te- principal teacher. <laughs> yes, for my children. <laughs> I actually, nope. I wouldn't mind going back to 911 dispatching. Yeah. That was something that I, I really loved. I really enjoyed. Uh, but like everything else in this country, they just don't pay Outsource them Outsource it to worth. India. No, I, I agree with that. What, <laughs> is, what, what are they make? Like? Do you know? Uh, so the particular county that I was in, um, entry level was, God, we're talking almost 10 years ago now. It was about $19 an hour with a, was it like a 75 cent uh, shift differential, differential for the overnight? All right. Um, I know they're now making more, but they're still not paying them what it's, it's worth. It's a high stress job, dude. Yeah, there, there's a lot there. You know, every, oh my word! Everybody talks about you know mental health, this, that, whatever. Yeah. Um, but mental health that, will drive you mad. That so. job, especially yeah. on the night shift, like you've, it, it's a lot. It's a lot for someone to take in. Oh my so word! It's, it's not for the week. That's that's for sure. Yep. Yep. I I I couldn't do an EMT EMT job. Just one thumb. EMT job. I, it's just, I don't like blood and guts. <laughs> okay, I'm not Randy. that guy. 
What's that? <laughs> okay. Just one thumb? <laughs> Just one thumb. One thumbs up for the job. Okay, Rick. <laughs> he definitely You're had two to go there. <laughs> hey, I try to put you know, drop names when I can. <laughs> So, anyway. so see, no blood and guts for you. Yeah, so no, no, no I'm not going to become a you. nurse. I'm not going to become anything that has anything to do with the hospital. I'm not cleaning anything like that. Like it's, it's, it's like that's not in my, it's not in my future, right? Because I'm not going to handle it. And like not your week EMT. of vacation. What's that? It's like your week of vacation. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I'm not going to handle it. I'm not doing anything about I'm not it. Not doing so. anything. Just so, hang out. Here's the real question, Braden. You're a young guy. Mm-hmm. What 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 are your plans? Like what what do you want to do? What like what would you like your life to go? You know what I mean? Like because I, I, I this is one thing that irritated me when I was a kid, and I, I still think it's it's wrong. We expect somebody who's 16, 18, 17, whatever years old to make a decision for the rest of their life what they want to do. And I'm like, I didn't know what I wanted to do and when I was 16, 18, 17, 20. You know what I mean? Like I didn't know. And it's like you're supposed to make a decision and say, no, that's not that I'm not giving you <laughs> I'm not saying don't do anything. I'm just saying what, what where do you think you'd like to because that's how I, I like to look at it. Where do you think you'd like what do you think you'd like to do? That's hard because I'd be it I'd is. jump around from a couple of things. Sure, and I get that. Like what kind of couple of things you would you well, think? Well, because I'm I like cars a lot, so mechanics yeah. definitely one of them. Cool. Um and then I was also thinking about going to welding school once I was done with high school. Awesome. To just have it just in case for whatever reason because they right. get paid pretty good. They do. But the end goal, die rich. I can't argue with that end goal. I'll take the goals he's got now because Shipper can back me up on this. When I was a repossession agent and I asked him that question, well, Dad, I want to be a tow truck driver. And I looked at him like he insulted me and said, uh uh-uh, no, don't you dare do that. So to hear he's actually got something up his sleeve no that's, yeah that's great and i think it's great i think it's really cool i mean but yeah especially because when i die i'm getting buried with all my money i do not care if i have a wife and kids so he's taking it with him when he yep. goes <laughs> he's literally money taking is it going with, with me to my his grave. kids will be his grave robbers probably i wouldn't have my grandchildren or, any other way or, <laughs> I was about to say, or if everybody gra- if your, <laughs> i was about to say if your grandchildren were any other way they're not my kids good point that's a really good point the cool thing is he's talking about kids, you know. Yeah. It's even if I get that far. Ah, uh, yeah, you know. First, we got to finish high school. Hey, Amen. There, uh, you know, you do the best you can. Oh no, I might have to repeat a few years. Might have to take after you. He might no. have like fifteen <laughs> <No>. years. <laughs> Just because we're going back to the same high school. Now nah, you got two years Why left. Not? I gotta see done. if they remember you. Not a good idea. Highly oh. do not recommend. Zero out of ten. Wait, didn't you tell me there's a Hector dude that is very forgettable? Wait, think. didn't you tell me there's a dude that really did not like you? What the, what was it? <laughs> S something, the SRO. Yeah, so I feel like I should like see how he's like. Well, where's he at today? Well, he's probably off because he works, you know, <laughs> at the school as their resource. No, uh huh, like the the. Like a cop, the in, the cop in the school. The school cop. Yeah. Safety yeah, yeah, yeah. resource officer. We didn't have those when I was yeah, in school. School, That's why I'm like, I'm not. Officer, like when you, yep. yeah, okay, I got gotcha. you. Yeah, you know, to, to cut down on the in school violence, we'll put a cop in there with a gun. That's why a bad guy I've can't get in there. I've wondered, okay, the school resource officer, what resource is he? You know what I mean? Like, well, that's the thing. They, is he a they do have, they I mean, have classes for them. You know, they have to go get certified. I don't know the full level, never done it, um, but I knew that they do have extra certifications and et cetera that they have to go through. I couldn't do that. Yeah, like it's it's a lot more than oh well, we have to discipline this student. What can we legally do? No, no that's why you have lawyers and everything you got to do. You know, he he's there to prevent the crime. He's also there just to try and give the kids a scare when no one pays attention to him. Gotcha. Um, this particular one, I've yeah. I've done my research on him. He's more involved. He tries to be that that fun guy. So oh, that's sounds like thing. me and him are not going to get along. <laughs> Probably like not. Him. Well, it's just like um, I. I won't go into full detail with it, but the Easton resource cop. You heard the story on him. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not going to go into the full story about it because I'm not trying to go down that road. But school Easton resource cop. So my <laughs> home school. Yeah. It he's no longer working there. Oh, OK. For a good reason. Um, well, I'll say after. Um, but. He was, at first, when I was being a bad kid, doing bad kid stuff, um, 
it was a lot of he was trying to just like he got it all because of course he was like he was that whole oh i was a kid once this and that no one paid attention to him everyone just did not care what he had to say right but then once i actually got kicked out and i see the one day i missed my bus so he walked me to the head principal's office so i because i had to wait sadly never again um i was talking to him a little bit and he was chill to where he could really care less Hmm. if he did not care whatsoever he you could tell he after a while he's just like look i like you put a resource cop into a school that there's going to be fights there's going to be people doing dumb stuff right just to press the buttons yeah it's like it's always going to be someone doing something you're never going to be able to stop it because you're going to get the new um freshmen that are going to do the same thing people were doing before they graduated and everything right so he just full stop caring but long story short he no longer works there for a good reason gotcha best way to put it yeah safe so, way to put it uh, for now man i'll explain after yeah. it's yeah. I'll, but you notice like the, those um resources are put into the school that have the higher population areas yeah yeah where like you know the lower like you know you go to school i don't know if there's one up the street but you, you wouldn't expect to see one there. You, know, you may see right. an officer sitting in the parking lot, whatever. But um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if there's one at Hamburg. I don't yeah. honestly don't know. My yeah. kids have been they've hmm. been out since I don't know a while. But that that's the change that's happening, though. I mean, I know the the administration has changed at that school since I've been there. The most most of the teachers, if not all the teachers, should have cycled out by now. So he'll have a good fresh start. Yeah. But the conversation him and I had is the area that we're in now to the area we're going. Yeah. You know, nothing's really going to scare him too much. And it's like, right. you got to remember you're going from the city to, to country folk. Like you got to, you know, tone it down a little bit. Cause you're going to scare them just by walking in the right. door. Then, oh, oh, oh. Well, yeah. yeah. I'm used to going to a school with a bunch of hood rats and stuff. Yeah. That shows you where today's age is. I mean, yeah. you know, we're only moving what 20, 30 minutes away. Like it's not right. far, but it's also the difference in the areas. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. 100%. Where we're at now, it's all, bunch of different gangs around and the high school shipper went to is completely changed since he went there yeah where did you go to school shipper oh me liberty liberty now has their own problems that's where you went to okay so your high school too yeah um liberty has we we started our kids in that bethlehem school district now they're the one wrapped up out of east and Uh he's not going to and then we have the other one who will not touch any of those schools but just even in the 14 years that we've been in that area yeah. it's it's changed completely so i'm it. sure if you guys walked down there and took a walk through the halls you you wouldn't like sure the building might be the same but you wouldn't recognize the atmosphere right it's hard to believe when you think about it, like well, how long you've been out of school yeah I graduate i mean ship graduated before i did i graduated in 86 you know so i'm like almost is that almost 40 years like 38 years i'm out of school and you're like holy crap it's 38, <laughs> four years before I was born. <laughs> you're welcome. Yeah, well, shippers older than I am, so you're welcome. <laughs> Tony, <laughs> call your dad. <laughs> hey, you're, all three of you are older than me. It you're is, welcome. It's amazing, you know, it just because it, things and things change. Right. It just changes. Life changes. People change. You know, everything. It, society changes. It's it's a whole different world. Yeah. You know, I I I would not want to have to go back to try and. Uh, like to be a, a resource officer at a school now is like I couldn't do it. Yeah, I just couldn't. It's, it's just it, there's too much distance. And you so you'd almost need a desk job. I would. And you basically just get put into a school to just try and scare the kids that, especially when you go to certain areas. Yeah, they're not going to care. I believe it. I believe Even it. if you're going to try and be like, oh, I'm not here to get y'all in trouble and stuff, but like you know, I still have my rules. No one's going to care. Right. No one's going to go to you for certain stuff everyone's just going to be doing the same stuff that they were doing. Same thing I did. Right. Nothing's going to change. Him. He try and give off like, Oh, I'm this big, nice, scary kind of dude. <laughs> yeah. I was looking on the freightways here and they were talking about, there was a crash in Virginia. Yeah. With XYZ company won't, won't name them. But as okay. a result of the investigation, the national traffic safety board recommended that the FMCSA, Revise the LED requirements to require that LED providers create an audit log that includes the date, the driver's login time, and who logs them in. Even an ELD? Yeah. 
That's what I said. ELD. I thought you was talking about light swing. I did too. I thought like oh, LED. Yeah. Sorry. yeah. Sorry. I'm like, so what? LED but, but this just blows yeah. my mind. They're they're requiring an audit that the date drivers log on time and who logged them in, names of anyone who edited a log, driver's license numbers, and an active driver's list changes. Other recommendations in the state of Virginia often mandate uh, drug and alcohol testing, blah, blah, blah. Companies should da, 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 manage, uh, fatigue management program. Because what basically was happening, the company, the drivers would call in the company. Yeah. And they would change the logs. So they had time. And it resulted this guy was driving over 14 hours and he rear-ended a bus and killed people. And the National Highway Traffic thing is also recommending that now should develop and form performance standards for the commercial vehicles should also require trucks over 10,000 pounds to have the onboard video recorders that it would, you could record the event data, you know, like our trucks have, right. you know, front end safety, collisions avoidance system, EL, uh, the EL. The on the word data recommendation that they can record it. They're right. a black box, basically. But I just can't believe, you know, in this day of, you know, the electronic logs here, we're still falsifying. They're still falsifying these logs. I just don't get it. The only line and nobody could edit per the last update that I was aware of was the drive line. Right. Anything else could be edited. Can be though. edited. Well, not according to whatever. <laughs> Whatever electronic logs this company had, and I won't name them. And that's but. that's why they're looking at the different ELDs, and only right. certain ones are approved, and this, that, and yeah, blah, blah, right. blah. It's yeah. good to see them getting away from people net and <coughs> on those. days those leading up to the crash. Right, the driver exceeded fourteen hour driving window four times. The eleven hour driving limit three times. Exceeded the seventy hour rule by more than four t- hours in the seven period of seven consecutive days. Drivers being paid by mileage were financially incentivized to exceed their hours of service limits because it allowed them to drive farther and earn more money. Which but leads us to our argument of line haul versus city, mileage versus hourly. There's a good fight right there on it. How many of line haul guys have gotten in trouble for doing out of this world stuff versus the city guys? You know, the city guys, at least when we get in trouble, it's a good video you get to watch. Right. Line haul. It's, oh, you got fired because, you know, you, you turned your log device off and drove 30 miles for your break or whatever, right? And then you turn it back on. How, how'd, how'd you that, get there? How'd that happen? <clears throat> but know. that's what I don't understand. Superman I mean, came and picked up my truck and blew me and there. Then, that's the right. trucks, the trucks are locked at, you know, recording the, the onboard diagnostics of the truck. Right. So it's recording every mile, every tenth of a mile driven. You turn it off at 87,000 miles and you have 87, 487. There's the gap. It's not that hard to figure out what happened. So with our new logging devices that we have at work, I don't know if you guys see it because you have that different screen that you go into. Yeah. But when we go in to accept our manifests, and he said every tenth of a mile, we actually have like the, the tighter decimals even on ours that show up for the mileage. So when it comes up, all oh, your starting mileage is... You know, whatever point, point whatever, it, whatever it your goes, tenth is, it goes two spaces from there. Mm-hmm. So it's tenth. It's, that's tenth. That's I thought the tenth hundred thousand. So it'd be the hundredth, right? Because you have the, your decimal, then your tenth, then your hundredth, then your thousandth. Right? Math class. Yeah, but that on the LED. ELD. It, it's bright. Yeah, LED. it's bright. It's a bright thing. It is bright. <laughs> it uh, go. It goes to what you would say hundredth. Okay, but your quarter mile is still. Well, yeah, your you tenth. Know, yeah, the two. You know, that's yeah. how that breaks that down. But what I'm saying is, you can't. If there's any gap in mileage between, right. yeah, you know, our right. duties of service. You know, if you it's say you're going, prevalent. you're on duty, and the odometer's still rolling, there's something wrong. Yeah. You know, I just, I don't get it. I just don't get it. And that's I mean, why it's important to claim your drive time. Do you accept? Nope, not mine. No. Is that, the, is that nighttime drivers? No, uh, you're talking right. about uh, unauthorized movements. See, that's, yeah. That's, yeah. Why, that's why I don't understand why when we log out 
not everybody leaves the truck when they log out. That's the yeah, first thing I do when I'm. It's, when, it's not annoying. It takes me an extra one second. No, to actually it's have annoying to when somebody doesn't do with, it. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. That's why I don't understand why they don't. I go to log into my truck. I am the only one yeah. that drives my truck. I go to log in my truck. Oh, you can't. Different drivers logged into your truck. Yep. How? Truck number here. I'm looking at my truck. Truck number. Yeah, they match. Yep. Log in. Nope, can't. Other driver. Because he so didn't. now you have to call a supervisor. And have them log them out. To find out that a driver in Ohio is logged into my truck. Dude. Well, now what's he doing out there? Like, I got in my tractor. How, that, how does that happen? So, yeah. Really on, this, Batman. I got into my tractor in our yard two months ago. Mm-hmm. I logged into my tractor in our yard two months ago, and it said I was physically logged in in Cinnamons in New Jersey. Now, you tell me how it did that. I came in, wow. sat in my own truck in our yard, and it's telling me you logged in in Cinnamons. I, I went in. I, I'm like, am I in Cin- like, Did I? Did I? Really? Did I? Yes. It literally did. And you know what they said to me? There's nothing we can do about it. it. It's logged you in there. That's where it says it's at. There's nothing that they could do. They couldn't change it. That's interesting. To answer your question, though. It's ridiculous. That's how stupid at, this crap is. At the top where your truck number is. Yeah, I get really If you irritated. click on it, you can click leave truck. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Well, That's what I do when, every night. When you get in, so for you guys, it's your RO. So if you don't accept your RO or anything, you get in. You log in ahead of getting your paperwork. Yeah. You click that same thing. You could type in the truck number that you're getting into to record the movements. So what happened in my case was somebody, more than likely, they put it on a manifest and... They put the in the person wrong tra- in the office put number. in the wrong tractor yep. number. That's exactly but, what happened. You know, I could be in my yard since my yard's different than your yard. Yep. I could, you know, say on my Maven that I'm in your truck, and you couldn't do anything about it until I either logged out or you had a manager remove me in the system from yep. it. That's what happens every morning. If the yeah. guys, if the if the road drivers don't log out, they'll pick up the hours of of the guy who was driving. Yep. You know, if the city guys don't. Make sure it's logged out. You'll pick up his hours. It's like mm-hmm. this is ridiculous. This is ri- the minute you log out, it ought to kick you out of the truck. Yeah. There should be no lag time. This and is 2024. You want to have you, we're going to have automated trucking, and we still can't even do this right. And that's why I have the that's argument. Where it's like I'm sorry, I don't buy it. The argument of the city drivers even turning on their devices and logging in or anything because I share the truck with Ship. Okay. Yeah. We'll just say. I come in and I'm going through all my morning pre stuff. Yep. Ships out of the truck. The fueler grabs the truck to and go it. move it, you know, to fuel it. Yep. I look at my device. I can't do anything because I'm showing driving. Yep. It's not me driving. It's nope. somebody else, but it's, it's how it's set up. Oh, I've yeah. been well, fighting that, that for that, years. That's actually what happened to me. Mm-hmm. I sat in the, I sat, I was sitting in a safety meeting, you know, yeah. logged yeah. in yet. And then all of a sudden the truck, you know, yeah, I, I watched moving. the phone change the drive. Yep. And, and it's you. And you're getting credit and, and, for that. And you know me because mm-hmm. I'm a quiet kind of guy. Says, what the fuck's happening here? I just got I'm, I'm, the truck's driving. Yeah. And then Kyle, Kyle right there says, well, you have to leave the vehicle. And, and meanwhile, Dean said, was there a problem? I says, evidently, I'm driving. But I'm sitting here. I've been sitting here for an hour waiting for his meeting. Right. <laughs> That's why the the fueler should have one of those devices and have to well, log in to come the time and the mechanics. Technically, the, I know the mechanics are supposed to, but they right. don't log they in. Don't. But you know that's why it just comes up. There's movements of yeah. your vehicle. Do you accept or decline? Right. And just don't know. Yep. all not mine because I know I drive my own truck over and get fuel every morning. So I know no none of those extra times are mine. Yeah, I, I look decline at those, them all. No. I look at those like the glove. The mileage does not fit. You must have quit. quit. <laughs> it's just, it's just, it's frustrating because rather than tell everybody when we actually started this Maven thing, when you, when you're done with your tractor, don't just log out, leave, leave your the truck, vehicle. then log out. Yeah. That way you, you, you've removed yourself from, so the next guy coming in doesn't have to worry about seeing your crap or but getting your crap. We've That's got what guys I that can Why is this so hard? We've got guys that can't even read a message from the boss without acknowledging it to everybody. Like, guys, I just know. stop. Yeah, and you're right. You're totally right. We're, we're asking too much of drivers I know. Anymore. We're asking we too really much are. of truck drivers. You know, we're a dumb lot, I guess. I don't yeah. know. I, I can't figure it out. Either we're dumb, we're lazy, or it's a combination of the two. It's just ridiculous. Maybe IQ test should be part of the renewal process. Probably should be. You know, 
<laughs> Why, so you can hurt some people's feelings? <laughs> well, we don't want to do that. We don't want to hurt anybody's feelings. We would feelings. never want to do that. Then I would not put an IQ test in a test. <laughs> we, we, <laughs> all of that stuff being said, Hector, Braden, I hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. Hope you had a good time. We had a great time having you guys in today. I hope you enjoyed yourself. I do. Hope to see you back again sometime again. This Bumpious. one's been fun. It really has been. We'll come back. Yeah, I'd love to have you guys oh, back God. in again. So. We hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. We enjoyed ourselves. Shipper, if every if, if they enjoyed themselves, if the audience enjoyed themselves, what should they do? Whatever they want. Share the show. Listen to the show. Don't listen to the show. Who Whatever cares? you want. That's that's the positive attitude I'm getting from Shipper. Whatever you want. Yeah. Share the show. Share it on all your social media platforms. Share it with your Me, lovers and your any, haters. So I can't share. <laughs> share <laughs> that's true. Share it with everybody you know and even people you don't know. Just share the show. You could share it wherever you get podcasts and send it as a text message to your friends. Amen, brother. All that being said, Shipper, keep the hammer down. In the lane of the hammer. In the lane of the hammer.